So uh, this video is based on motivational theory and it's looking at one specific uh, theorist which is Victor Vroom and what it's looking at is in terms of his expectancy theory. So what Victor Vroom believed in was uh, the need for, for example, expectancy, instrumentality and balance. And his theory assumes that behaviour results from conscious choices among alternatives whose purpose it is to maximise pleasure and to minimise pain. So um, what Vroom realised was that an employee's performance is uh, usually based on individual factors such as their personality, maybe their skills, their knowledge, their experience and their abilities. So the theory suggests that although individuals may have different sets of goals, they can be motivated if they believe that A, there is a positive correlation between efforts and performance, B, favourable performance will result in a desirable reward, C, the reward will satisfy an important need, and finally D, the desire to satisfy the need is strong enough to make the effort worthwhile. So again, when we look at the expectancy and the effort, uh, will my efforts lead to a high performance? So that goes on to performance instead in terms of instrumentality. Will the performance lead to outcomes? If it does lead to outcomes, then it should lead to rewards. And again, do I find the outcomes desirable? And that's the balance. So uh, this is Victor Vroom. Um, and what he believed was that if uh, one of the beliefs that I mentioned earlier was missing, then workers will not have the motivation to do the job well. So therefore, obviously, it has to go within that order. If they if they believe in those three factors and they think that that will take place and they will finally get that reward, um, then then they will be truly motivated motivated to do the job well. So managers should therefore ensure that employees believe increased effort will improve performance and it will lead to valuable and valued rewards. If they don't believe that, then they won't be truly motivated. So again, just a few uh, different factors uh, within this. So um, you got the balance uh, uh, measures the value a person attaches to a given reward. These can be extrinsic, such as money, promotion, or time off, or intrinsic, such as a sense of achievement. Uh, as well as the expectancy uh, measures the person's confidence in being able to get the results expected. Is it a purely subjective measure of an individual's belief in themselves? So do they think it's realistic? Is it is it challenging? but achievable, and that's what you need to consider. Do they expect to get the result? Do they expect to get the job done? And also the instrumentality, so it measures the extent to which an individual believes that the manager organisation will deliver the rewards that were promised. So do they have trust in the manager? Do they believe in the manager? Do they hold maybe similar vision to the manager and believe that if they reach those goals, then again, they will be uh, they will be rewarded by that manager. If they uh, have reason not to trust the manager, maybe the manager has given them false promises in the past, then obviously that instrumentality will not be achieved. And like I said before, if one of those three is not achieved, then the individual is not fully motivated.